Hi everybody, I'm starting a new series called Polish Swatch and this is going to be where I swatch my polish collection for you. So today is going to be um, Simple Colors Pinks and I'm going to be starting off with Sucker Punch. This is new to the Simple Colors Core line. I do believe it's a Walgreens exclusive. Um, I'm also going to record myself making swatch sticks. I've been wanting to do swatch sticks for a while. So I figured this would be a good way to do it. So Sucker Punch is going to be a bright, um, kind of jellyish pink with silver shimmer. And I'm going to go in for the first coat on the nails. This polish is sheer, but that does help for the silver shimmer to show through. But um, the formula is nice. It builds up nicely. Um, the first coat, even though it is sheer, it is it goes on smooth it's fairly thin so if you want to do um three coats it's not going to be like taking forever to dry or anything like that which is nice so here i'm going in on the second coat um the second coat definitely builds up the color um very nicely and i'm gonna leave this at two coats it is a little bit of visible nail line, but it's not as noticeable in person as it is in the swatch pictures. So I will definitely, when I wear this, just go for two coats plus top coat. And that's what I'm showing you in the swatch pictures. There's a close up. And then swatch picture is two coats plus top coat of Sucker Punch. Next color is going to be Pink Forever. This is one of my older Simple Color polishes. I've had this since before I was um, actually into polish collecting. And I forgot how much I loved this. Look at that color, you guys. It's just a really nice um, bubblegum pink. And the formula is good. Two coats to get opaque. Look at how smooth it goes on. Um, so I'm going to start with the first coat here. Like I was saying, um, the formula is just really nice. It's super smooth. It builds up nice in two coats. And then it's just a really nice, simple pink. I have used quite a bit of this, actually, when I pulled it out to swatch today. It has a pretty low fill line. I wore this a lot um, before I got into polish collecting. I've always liked pink, so... And here I am starting the second coat. The color builds up really nice on the second coat. The formula is not streaky or um, like chalky or anything. Just nice and smooth. I'm definitely going to have to wear this sometime soon. It's like one of those forgotten favorites. So hopefully this series will also help me um, realize some forgotten polishes that I did love. So this is two coats plus top coat of Pink Forever. This is also an older Simple Colors. This is 24-7 Original Formula. This formula on this is not that great. Um, it is very streaky and like just doesn't want to go on smooth. It doesn't self-level nicely. But I do love the color. Um, I've had this polish since before I was also into collecting polish. This was like my go-to neon pink. So here I'm gonna go in for the first coat. Um, the first coat on this is extremely streaky and patchy. And it does dry matte, so you will need a nice top coat on this to make it shiny. And the, when you do apply the top coat, it does kind of even out the streakiness a little bit for a better look, so that's something to keep in mind. I know this formula could have definitely been reformulated, but I do not like that they changed the color when they redid 24-7. Now it's just like a regular pink, and I wish they would have kept it neon. So here I am doing the second coat. The second coat on this is also um, fairly streaky. The top coat does work to kind of even that out a little bit for you. This color is amazing though, you guys. Um, it's just a really, really great neon pink. And this is, actually I did three coats. So this is three coats of 24-7 plus top coat. Next polish is going to be Cotton Candy. This came out in a spring collection. 
it's been a while i'm gonna say maybe five or six years ago um this polish i had never tried before and it's very very um jelly like which i'm not sure i'm loving in this light of a color um i ended up doing three coats on the swatch stick so i'm gonna go in for the first coat on the nails and you can see how sheer that is and it is kind of like sheer and thick so i think it's gonna take a while to dry for some people which i don't like this is definitely a polish i'm gonna debate if i want to keep or not so here i am starting the second coat um it does build up okay i guess on that second coat but it's just not what I was expecting. So I ended up doing um, three coats of this polish and there actually was even still some visible nail line. And I don't know, I'll definitely decide on this one later if I do decide to keep it or not. So this is three coats plus top coat of cotton candy. Next polish is gonna be called Make a Scene. And this is a pastel neon matte. I believe this came out, if not last year, the year before during the summer in a whole um, pastel neon matte collection. I picked up a couple of these and I'm actually really loving this color, you guys. And for a matte polish, um, the formula was not bad so i'm going to start with the first coat here and it's not one that dries super fast that you have to be like really really quick with which i do like um like with the china glaze matte polishes if you're not fast they just turn into a mess so this is not like that you have a little more time look at that color so the first coat is a little sheer um, but it builds up nicely on the second coat I also got, I believe, the peach out of this collection. So here is the second coat, and you can see there just how nice that looks. It builds up the color, and this is a really nice, um, like brighter pastel. I do believe that it does live up to that pastel neon um, label. I love colors like this in the summer. So I actually ended up doing three coats. I thought I only did two. But um, they dry fast, these neons, so it's not bad. Like, they don't take forever to dry or anything. So the swatch picture is going to be three coats of Make a Scene. No top coat. Next polish is going to be Unicorns Are Real, and this is also new to the Simple Colors Core line. Um, I believe you can find this anywhere. I bought mine at Walmart, and this is just a really nice pastel pink. There is some gold shimmer in the bottle, but that does not show up on the nails. The formula on this for being a pastel is amazing, you guys. So I'm going to go in for the first coat. The first coat is a tiny bit streaky, but not horrible for a color this light. And it's not chalky, or considering um, how light it is. It just goes on really, really smooth. I did a review of the new core collection colors that I did pick up, and this was definitely one of my favorites because I just thought the formula was so good for such a light pink. So here's the second coat of unicorns are real i love this color i think it looks really nice in the spring and even in the summer like when you're a little darker it stands out off the nails and it only takes two coats which is really nice for a color so light so this is two coats plus top coat of unicorns are real Next color is going to be Miss Chief from the Kylie Jenner Signature Collection. 
and this is a lighter pink with some silver shimmer the shimmer is kind of visible on the nails um, more than unicorns are real it's definitely more visible than that this is another polish I had not tried and I was not too impressed with the formula on this it's here I am going in for the first coat on the nails um, it's kind of runny and also kind of thick so it wants to like flood the cuticles and then it takes um, a few coats to get opaque like you could see how my cuticles just look like they're flooded with polish there um, this is another one I'm definitely gonna debate whether to keep or not so here's two coats um, it, the color does build up better with the second coat but it's still just very thick and runny so I ended up doing three coats of this polish and I think if you're gonna wear it it would take a while to dry I was mostly just swatching so I didn't sit around waiting for things to dry but seeing how thick these coats are I definitely think that could be an issue and I just don't know about this one you guys so there's three coats of Miss Chief with a top coat. So the next polish is going to be Strawberry Milk from the Candy Johnson Vintage Matte Collection. This is a very um, soft pink matte. It does look just like Strawberry Milk. This polish is one I was like dying to have. If you watched my first video about sinful colors, I was dying to have this was in it. And it took me a while to get around to wearing it but when i did wear it i do love it um for being matte the formula is not bad this like i was saying is another matte polish that you don't have to be like extremely fast with and then it dries fast which is nice i just think for matte it has a really good formula i love the color it's so pretty and here's the second coat so the color builds up um, and any like little streaks you have are covered with the second coat. This is such a pretty color. I really really liked it when I wore it and the formula was good. It like lasted without chips for a week. So this is two coats of strawberry milk. The next polish is Simple Colors Starfish. So I picked up this polish because Steffi Ray and Rita Beauty X were both um, talking about this being one of their favorite pinks from Simple Colors. And it looked really pretty on both of them. And so I decided to get it. And I love this color. It's very, um, it's like a lighter pink, but it has a little bit of like mauve in it, more like neutral than, um, bubblegum or Barbie. So here's the first coat of Starfish and um, this had a really nice formula also. It goes on very smooth, not streaky, and it's not runny, which was good. I think this is like a really nice um, close to neutral color, but with a little extra bit like i've told you guys before i'm not super into neutrals but this has enough pink in it that i do really like it so here's the second coat and it was two coats to get opaque so my swatch picture is going to be two coats plus top coat of starfish look at that color so pretty and the last polish in today's video is going to be flower power so this is like a light pink crowley with some matte white and then um kind of magenta glitters so this was also another simple colors polish that I was dying to have it's in my first video and then it took me forever to wear it this is older it's definitely I'm gonna say at least five years if not more old um, it was a dupe for an OPI that came out like in a breast cancer awareness duo and the formula on this is not 
the formula is okay I guess um so this polish I had to put upside down for a while to get the glitters to come towards the top of the bottle so here's the first coat you can see um there's not a ton of glitter on that so between this coat and the second coat I stuck it upside down for a little bit longer and that helped um when I did wear this I did notice that the pink was kind of close to my skin tone and it didn't um stand out off the nail like I was hoping for so I think the next time I wear it I'm going to layer it over a brighter pink and see if I enjoy it more like that so on this second coat you can see I'm picking up more glitter for sure so if you have any types of polishes like this that's a good trick um, store it upside down for maybe 10 minutes before you decide to polish so I'm going in for three coats here and it's building up the color there is still visible nail line but it's kind of a delicate look um, and I don't mind it and the glitter was definitely building up more also so this is three coats of flower power plus top coat so here are swatch sticks for all the polishes that I talked about in today's video hopefully I can keep this up and get a lot of my polishes um, on swatch sticks and also just swatch to see what I want and don't want to keep so this is like 10 polishes down and 1200 to go so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye